story short number 25. Good morning, Mr. Swimmy. Wake up, Mr. Swimmy. Annie shouted happily as she looked down into the fishbowl in the nightstand next to her bed. Time for your breakfast, she said to the fish, sprinkling flakes of fish food into the water. Normally, Mr. Swimmy would swim up to the top of the bowl to gobble up every flake. Today, however, he didn't seem interested in his food at all. He just floated at the top of the bowl. Mom, Annie called, Mr. Swimmy isn't eating his breakfast. Annie's mom came into her room and looked into the bowl. Oh, Annie's mom said. She had to think fast. I think he's sleeping in this morning. He'll eat when he wakes up. Shh, don't wake him. He'll brush your teeth. We need to get you to school. Annie brushed her teeth, got dressed, and blew Mr. Swimmy a kiss goodbye on the way out the door. See you tonight, buddy, Annie called. I love you. One way or another, you will see that fish, Annie's mom thought. We need a plan before we get home tonight. That fish isn't waking up any time soon. That afternoon, Annie couldn't wait to get home to see Mr. Swimmy. After all of that extra sleep, he'll be so excited to see me, Annie told her mom. When they walked into the house, Annie headed right for her bedroom to see her pet. Wait, Annie's mom yelled. Don't go up to your room. Don't you want a snack? How about a cupcake? And you can watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Annie couldn't believe it. Her mom never let her eat cupcakes for a snack, and she never let her watch TV before dinner. Okay, Annie said, sitting down in front of the TV with her cupcake. As soon as Annie's mom was sure that Annie wasn't watching, she grabbed her bag and ran up the stairs to Annie's room. After two cupcakes and three episodes of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Annie went up to her room. She couldn't wait to tell Mr. Swimmy about her day. Right away, she noticed something was different. Mr. Swimmy wasn't in his bowl like usual. He was in a plastic bag filled with water. The bag was sitting in the bowl. Mom, Mr. Swimmy is doing something weird, Annie called. Why is Mr. Swimmy in a plastic bag? Um, Annie's mom scrambled. He went camping. When fish go camping, they go in a plastic bag. It's like a tent. Oh, okay, Annie said. But why is Mr. Swimmy so little now? He was big this morning, and now he's little. Um, Annie's mom said. He forgot to take any food on his camping trip, so he lost weight. Oh, okay, Annie said, but Mr. Swimmy has a white spot on his tummy. When did he get a white spot on his tummy? Um, Annie's mom said, he probably fell asleep in the sun on the camping trip and everything got a tan except for his tummy. Annie looked skeptical. Mommy, Annie said, I don't think that's what happened. Annie's mom took a deep breath. She had hoped it wouldn't come to this. What do you think happened? Annie's mom asked nervously. I don't think Mr. Swimmy went camping, Annie said. I think he went to visit his fish family, but he didn't want to hurt my feelings, so he said he went camping instead.